Alrighty, hello YouTube, this is Joseph here once again. So, uh, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I know you guys have enjoyed cold starts in the real world, but I thought I'd go ahead and fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator X here, because I have some airplanes here that are very realistic. They're all my A2A simulations, and I haven't ran them in quite a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and try and cold start them on the uh, same temperature that we had for the coldest day of the year so far in 2021. So we're doing cold starts in negative 15 degree weather. And uh, with this uh, particular mod set that I'm going to be starting of the different airplanes, they all react differently at different temperatures, but they all, you know, do real world cold start scenarios. So my Cessna 172, which is what I've loaded up here, is one of the airplanes that usually is usually the most cold-blooded. So I thought we would start with the, cold, the most cold-blooded aircraft to start with, and then go from there. So, hope you enjoy, and uh, let's get started. Now, the 172 has been sitting, gosh, three or four months, probably. I haven't really played with the uh, this flight simulator in quite a while, so... We'll just have to see how things go. I'm going to close the door here. We're going to kind of um, do our usual walk around here, but uh, going to go and take the control lock off. We'll move the uh, yoke out of the way. Uh, shift 2. Cool. So. Weight and balance are just going to jump over that. Parking brake is set. Control lock is removed. Master switch on. Flaps down. Check fuel quantity. Got plenty of fuel in each tank. <clears throat> Enunciator test. Okay. Fuel selector valve both. Fuel shut off valve in, flaps extended, master switch off, elevator trim set for takeoff. We're not going to have to worry about that because, again, we're not going to be <clears throat> um, flying it today. We're just going to start it up. So let's go out here and we'll check the, uh, the oil. Take me a second to get... Nope. I guess we're in the wrong view. There we go. Okay. So that's pitot heat. Okay. Let's see if I can check the oil. There's a way to do it. I haven't I haven't played with this in a while, so I'll have to um, I'll have to just roll with it. <clears throat> We'll do it this way. Shift four. Okay, it's full of oil. Got plenty of fuel on both sides. All right, we'll go on and close the cockpit. <clears throat> Master back on. Flaps up. Plug in the block heater. Just go on and boost the block heater. Yeah, it's going to be saying low voltage, but that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Beacon on. Throttle cracked. Now, some Cessnas like to have their throttle stick moved in and out, so I'm going to go on ahead and grab it. Um, M plus should work. Interesting. There we go. Got it. All right, let's try it. I'll go on and put the mixture in. Is it dead already? All right, let's charge it again. Nope, it, it almost caught. There we go. 
Get it to a thousand RPM. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. Go on and open the defroster panel. It's got a miss in it, though. <coughs> Alright. Well, we'll let this thing run. As I said, it's been sitting for a number of months, so go ahead and just boot everything up and let everything come to life. We'll let the engine warm up, and once I uh, let this one warm up for a few minutes, we'll come back and uh, cold start some of my other aircrafts that I've got. See you guys in a few minutes. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back. I've let it run for a few minutes, just to let it warm up. I'm going to go on and turn this one off, and uh, we'll go on to the next one. So, here we go. Go on and uh, turn the mags off. Go on and pull the mixture out. Set everything back the way it was, pretty much. <clears throat> Gotta push the yoke all the way down. There's a certain position for this. Ah. There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, meet you guys at the next aircraft. Alrighty, so you guys might recognize this aircraft if you've been on my channel long enough. This is my Curtis P-40B Warhog. This is another uh, A2A Simulations mod. Oh my goodness, let's look at the last YouTube video I made of this. And that'll tell you how long it's been since uh, I made one. So, uh, Curtis P-40... Just type my name. Wow, 10 months ago, so it's been a lot longer than I thought. It's been almost a year, but... Anyways, let's go on and jump into this one, and we'll fire it up. Again, it's negative 15 degrees in the simulator, which is to mimic the coldest day of the year that's happened here in 2021. Go on and hook up the APU. Mixture full rich. Go on and turn on the electrics. Cal fly out. Check our fuel level here. Put all of our uh, fuel and everything that we need. <clears throat> and uh, there's a switch for the hydraulic motor. Landing. <clears throat> I just gotta find it. I remember where it is. Oh, that's right. It's on this. It's on the stock. the throttle. I'll go to about three inches. We'll give it four shots. Nope, oh, gotta turn the fuel selector on. Do fuselage. Alright, mag's on. This one uses an inertia starter, so we got to spin the flywheel up a couple of times. Potentially, we'll see if we can catch it on the first try, but it'll take about five to ten seconds for the uh, inertia flywheel to catch. So, uh, catch up momentum. But see how this does. Okay, that's energized. Had it on uh, engage. <clears throat> I'm a little rusty. If it doesn't catch the first time, I'm going to move the uh, manual fuel pump a couple times and see if that helps prime the uh, fuel injection system. 
clear prop. Come on, baby. Ooh, it's stiff. Oh, it almost caught. Just give it a couple of pumps. Move the hand throttle a little bit. Contact. Come on, baby. Oh, close. It's cold. I'm going to give it half just to try and get it to catch. Check the maintenance hanger. Make sure there's no. Okay, it's got excellent ports. <coughs> <coughs> She's just being cold this morning in the simulator. I'll give it another two shots of primer if it doesn't catch this time. Contact. Come on, baby. Nope, not enough yet. Sweetheart. Nope. I don't know. We might not get this one to start. <clears throat> I'll give it a couple more attempts, but this one may not, <clears throat> this one may not run. Sweetheart. Yeah, it tried. It might be flooded. Hitting the engage switch too quickly. trying. <clears throat> I'm going to open the throttle full just to try and get it to pop off. This one's not gonna run. Oh well, we tried. I'll come back and try another time in another video. Let's move on to the next one. It's 
See you guys at the next aircraft. Now, <clears throat> I can't make any promises that this one's going to start either, but I'm willing to give it a try. This is the North American P-51D Mustang from A2A Simulations. So, <clears throat> going to set things to where we can try and get it to start. So, let's see. We need electrical. There we go. It's on main. Fuselage. records. Excellent shape. Okay. One, two, three, four. Turn the oil dilution on for a moment. Defroster on. Open the hot air when it starts. <clears throat> we'll leave those in automatic, that's fine. Okay. Now, this one I have to count 12 blades, so each rotation of the prop is one blade. So let me go on and mesh the starter. I'll go on and count 12 blades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. <clears throat> Allows the uh, cylinders to clear themselves of any contaminants. Go on and turn on the fuel pump. I want to give this a try. charge the battery a bit. This may not start either. <laughs> I'll give it another charge. Nope. Alright, on to the next one. I'll have to come back to these two and try and get them running at another time. Okay, so here is my submarine Spitfire <clears throat> Mark II. This one is usually pretty easy to start in pretty much any weather, but uh, you know, things could change, so let's give this thing a try. Maintenance log. Excellent shape. Cool. This one uses a cartridge starter, so it's going to be a little bit different than the last two that we've tried to start. <clears throat> so mags are on. Fuel on. Got plenty of uh, plenty of fuel on board. Can unload the ammunition. Pneumatic air. I will give this thing three shots. It usually likes about three. On a 
cold morning. Okay. Cartridge load. Come on. There we go. Just look at the oil temperature. Negative 15. Okay. Let's go on and open the uh, cow flap shutter. All right, let's see if the old girl has it in her to start. Oh, it, it sputtered a little bit. Let's give it a little more throttle. Give it another, another cartridge. All righty, we got another successful cold start. Cool. It's a bit smoky though, but it hasn't been ran in a long time, so that's to be expected. this thing run for a minute. It's warming up pretty quickly, so that's good. Oil temperature is 12 degrees. Plenty of fuel. Sure is blowing a lot of uh, steam, though, from the uh, cold atmosphere outside. <clears throat> Go on and turn the defroster on. Oh, that's warming up quick. Good deal. That's what I like to see. We'll let it get up a couple more degrees. I'm going to try and get it up to at least that marker. So let's go on and give it a little more power. Let the uh, engine do its thing. Once it reaches that 20 or thereabouts, we'll, uh, we'll shut it down. Alrighty. It's reached 20 degrees Celsius, so on and uh, open the canopy here. And uh, close that. Do the slow running cutout. to the next aircraft. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, so this is going to be my last airplane for the evening that uh, I need to let run. This is the North American P-47D Thunderbolt. 
and it's the largest of the radial engine class fighters. But uh, this thing, it does decently well most of the time, given that you uh, baby it along. So I'll do belly tank, main fuel selector, main. Okay. So defroster on, battery on. Go on and open the shutter flaps. Mixture, boost, halfway, prop, full. And I'm trying to remember the switch for the hydraulic pump. There's a switch you could throw. It's been a while since I've been in this cockpit. Let's go on and turn the oil dilution on for a moment. <clears throat> It'll help cold start this huge engine. just pump it up with the manual hand pump then. Gotta open the cow flaps. Get about 75 pounds of pressure in the system. This is another inertia starter aircraft, so it's not guaranteed that it is going to start, but we'll give it our best uh, attempt anyway. Okay. Three shots is usually what it prefers. Magneto on. Energize. Let's see how this one does. I'm gonna cut back the throttle just a touch. We'll give it three tries, and if it doesn't start, we'll just call it quits. Wow, use that flight wheel up quickly. Oh, my oil dilution switch is still on, isn't it? No? Alright, we'll turn it on for this flight wheel run. This will be the last attempt, and if it doesn't start, we'll just call it quits. Well, darn. Don't know what more to do. 
Oh well. Anyways, guys, that was two out of the five, I think it was. Yeah, two out of the five started. But, uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed, and we'll try these other aircrafts again another time. Catch you later.